Hi. Now for this question, we've got to determine the greatest and least values of 25 minus all of 4 cos theta minus 2 sine theta squared. And give the smallest positive value of theta for which these values occur. So to do this, now if we just write this expression down, that is 25 minus 4 cos theta minus 2 sine theta, all squared. Well, this is going to be identical to the first term, 25. But in a previous part of this question, we had to express 4 cos theta minus 2 sine theta in the form r cos theta plus alpha. And we found out that that was the square root of 20, or 2 root 5, same thing, multiplied by the cosine of theta plus 26.5650 and so on degrees. Now if you're unsure of this, do check out that uh, video. But what we're doing is we are squaring this result. So if I just put that in square brackets there and put a squared outside. Now if I square this bracket we're going to have the 25 then as the first term, then root of 20 times root 20 is just 20, and then we're going to get cos squared of the angle theta plus 26.5650 and so on degrees. Now when it comes to finding the greatest and least values for this expression, the first term always remains constant. It's this second term that's going to vary depending on what theta is. And what I notice is that if we go back to here, we're going to get, for instance, a maximum value when we make this term as small as possible. Now, because it contains cos of this angle in here, remember the cosine function Let's just draw a graph, okay? Might be easier just to see. If I just call this x and we plot the graph of y equals, say, cos theta, should be familiar with it. It's a curve looking something like this, going between minus 1 at the lowest point here to 1 at the highest point. This lowest point occurs at 180 degrees. This point here is 90 degrees, this one is 270 degrees. So when we're looking to get this maximum value then, greatest value, we want this term here to be as small as possible. Now knowing that cosine of any angle goes between minus 1 and 1, then to get this as small as possible, we would really need to take 0. It's not minus 1. Remember, if you're squaring minus 1, you're going to end up with 1 times the 20 here. Smallest value we can get out of this is when the cosine function returns 0. So let's just put that down here, that the max value, or greatest value, max value occurs when we have the cosine of that angle in the brackets here turns out to equal zero. We'll look at that in a moment, but that maximum value would be, let's just put here, therefore the max value would equal 25 minus zero. 25 in other words. So we get this value when theta plus 26.5650 and so on equals this first value here, 90 degrees. So I know it equals 0 again at 270. In a moment, we're going to be subtracting this angle away from 90 degrees. It will give us a positive angle, and it will be the smallest positive value of theta. Whereas if we took 270 degrees here, we're going to get a value that is not necessarily the smallest positive value of theta. So if we do take 
26.5650 away from 90 degrees, we end up with 63.435 and so on degrees. And if we round this, say, to three significant figures, it's going to be 63.4 degrees to 3 SF. Now, when it comes on to finding the minimum value, we've got to just take a little bit more care on this one. The minimum value is going to occur when we make this second term as big as possible. And we can achieve that greatest value when the cosine function is either minus 1 or 1. Because remember, we're going to be squaring our value. So minus 1 squared will give us 1, and 1 squared will give us 1. So it would end up with 25 minus 20. So that's when, basically, cosine of that angle equals minus 1 or 1. So that minimum value, let's just put it down here, therefore the minimum value will be equal to 25 minus 20 times 1, in other words, 20, and that's just going to give us 5. But as for that smallest positive value of theta for which this occurs, this is where we've got to be careful. We know that the angle inside the brackets then is theta plus 26.5650 and so on degrees. Now, when this equals minus 1, it equals minus 1 at 180 degrees, and when it equals 1, it's at 0 degrees. But if I put 0 degrees here, and then subtract 26.565 away from 0 degrees, I'm going to get a negative angle. We want the smallest positive value. So what I've got to do is go up to where it's minus 1 here. Okay? Where it's minus 1, it's 180 degrees. So that's where you've got to take a bit of care. So from here, it follows that if I take this angle away from 180 degrees, theta equals 153.435 and so on degrees. And if I round this one up to three significant figures, it's just going to be 153 degrees to three significant figures. Okay?